nutrition and diet. The carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins in the foods you eat are used for energy to power molecular, cellular, and organ system activities. Importantly, the energy is stored primarily as fats. The quantity and quality of food that is ingested, digested, and absorbed affects the amount of fat that is stored as excess calories. Diet, both what you eat and how much you eat, has a dramatic impact on your health. Eating too much or too little food can lead to serious medical issues, including cardiovascular disease, cancer, anorexia, and diabetes, among others. Combine an unhealthy diet with unhealthy environmental conditions, such as smoking, and the potential medical complications increase significantly. Food and metabolism. The amount of energy that is needed or ingested per day is measured in calories. The nutritional calorie C is the amount of heat it takes to raise 1 kilogram, 1000 grams of water by 1 degree Celsius. This is different from the calorie C used in the physical sciences, which is the amount of heat it takes to raise 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius. When we refer to calorie, we are referring to the nutritional calorie. On average, a person needs 1,500 to 2,000 calories per day to sustain or carry out daily activities. The total number of calories needed by one person is dependent on their body mass, age, height, gender, activity level, and the amount of exercise per day. If exercise is regular part of one's day, more calories are required. As a rule, people underestimate the number of calories ingested and overestimate the amount they burn through. Exercise. This can lead to ingestion of too many calories per day. The accumulation of an extra 3,500 calories adds one pound of weight. If an excess of 200 calories per day is ingested, one extra pound of body weight will be gained every 18 days. At that rate, an extra 20 pounds can be gained over the course of a year. Of course, this increase in calories could be offset by increased exercise. Running or jogging one mile burns almost 100 calories. The type of food ingested also affects the body's metabolic rate. Processing of carbohydrates requires less energy than processing of proteins. In fact, the breakdown of carbohydrates requires the least amount of energy, whereas the processing of proteins demands the most energy. In general, the amount of calories ingested and the amount of calories burned determines the overall weight. To lose weight, the number of calories burned per day must exceed the number ingested. Calories are in almost everything you ingest. So when considering calorie intake, Beverages must also be considered to help provide guidelines regarding the types and quantities of food that should be eaten every day. The USDA has updated their food guidelines from my pyramid to my plate. They have put the recommended elements of a healthy meal into the context of a place setting of food. My plate categorizes food into the standard six food groups fruits, vegetables, grains protein foods, dairy, and oils. The accompanying website gives clear recommendations regarding quantity and type of each food that you should consume each day, as well as identifying which foods belong in each category. The accompanying graphic, figure 1, gives a clear visual with general recommendations for a healthy and balanced meal. The guidelines recommend to make half your plate fruits and vegetables. The other half is grains and protein, with a slightly higher quantity of grains than protein. Dairy products are represented by a drink, but the quantity can be applied to other dairy products as well. ChooseMyPlate.gov provides extensive online resources for planning a healthy diet and lifestyle, including offering weight management tips and recommendations for physical activity. It also includes the Super Tracker a web-based application to help you analyze your own diet and physical activity. Everyday Connections. 
Metabolism and Obesity Obesity in the United States is epidemic. The rate of obesity has been steadily rising since the 1980s. In the 1990s, most states reported that less than 10% of their populations was obese. And the state with the highest rate reported that only 15% of their population was considered obese. By 2010, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported that nearly 36% of adults over 20 years old were obese and an additional 33% were overweight, leaving only about 30% of the population at a healthy weight. These studies find the highest levels of obesity are concentrated in the southern states. They also find the level of childhood obesity is rising. Obesity is defined by the body mass index, BMI, single quote, which is a measure of an individual's weight to height ratio. The normal, or healthy, BMI range is between 18 and 24.9 kilograms per meter. 2. Overweight is defined as a BMI of 25 to 29.9 kilograms per meter. 2 and obesity is considered to be a BMI greater than 30 kg per meter. 2. Obesity can arise from a number of factors, including overeating, poor diet, sedentary lifestyle, limited sleep, genetic factors, and even diseases or drugs. Severe obesity, morbid obesity, or long-term obesity can result in serious medical conditions including coronary heart disease, type 2 diabetes, endometrial, breast, or colon cancer, hypertension, high blood pressure, dyslipidemia, high cholesterol or elevated triglycerides, stroke, liver disease, gallbladder disease, sleep apnea or respiratory diseases, osteoarthritis, and infertility. Research has shown that losing weight can help reduce or reverse the complications associated with these conditions. Vitamins. Vitamins are organic compounds found in foods and are a necessary part of the biochemical reactions in the body. They are involved in a number of processes, including mineral and bone metabolism, and cell and tissue growth, and they act as cofactors for energy metabolism. The B vitamins play the largest role of any vitamins in metabolism. Table 1 and Table 2. You get most of your vitamins through your diet. Although some can be formed from the precursors absorbed during digestion. For example, the body synthesizes vitamin A from the beta carotene in orange vegetables like carrots and sweet potatoes. Vitamins are either fat soluble or water soluble. Fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K are absorbed through the intestinal tract with lipids and chylomicrons. Vitamin D is also synthesized in the skin through exposure to sunlight because they are carried in lipids. Fat-soluble vitamins can accumulate in the lipids stored in the body. If excess vitamins are retained in the lipid stores in the body, hypervitaminosis can result. Water-soluble vitamins, including the 8B vitamins and vitamin C, are absorbed with water in the gastrointestinal tract. These vitamins move easily through bodily fluids, which are water-based, so they are not stored in the body. Excess water-soluble vitamins are excreted in the urine. Therefore, hypervitaminosis of water-soluble vitamins rarely occurs, except with an excess of vitamin supplements. Minerals. Minerals in food are inorganic compounds that work with other nutrients to ensure the body functions properly. Minerals cannot be made in the body. They come from the diet. The amount of minerals in the body is small. Only 4% of the total body mass. And most of that consists of the minerals that the body requires in moderate quantities. Potassium. Sodium. Calcium. Phosphorus magnesium, and chloride. The most common minerals in the body are calcium and phosphorus, both of which are stored in the skeleton and necessary for the hardening of bones. Most minerals are ionized, 
and their ionic forms are used in physiological processes throughout the body. Sodium and chloride ions are electrolytes in the blood and extracellular tissues. And iron ions are critical to the formation of hemoglobin. There are additional trace minerals that are still important to the body's functions. But their required quantities are much lower. Like vitamins, minerals can be consumed in toxic quantities. Although it is rare, a healthy diet includes most of the minerals your body requires. So supplements and processed foods can add potentially toxic levels of minerals. Table 3 and Table 4 provide a summary of minerals and their function in the body. Chapter Review Nutrition and diet affect your metabolism. More energy is required to break down fats and proteins than carbohydrates. However, all excess calories that are ingested will be stored as fat in the body. On average, a person requires 1,500 to 2,000 calories for normal daily activity. Although routine exercise will increase that amount. If you ingest more than that, the remainder is stored for later use. Conversely, if you ingest less than that, the energy stores in your body will be depleted. Both the quantity and quality of the food you eat affect your metabolism and can affect your overall health. Eating too much or too little can result in serious medical conditions, including cardiovascular disease, cancer, and diabetes. Vitamins and minerals are essential parts of the diet. They are needed for the proper function of metabolic pathways in the body. Vitamins are not stored in the body, so they must be obtained from the diet or synthesized from precursors available in the diet. Minerals are also obtained from the diet, but they are also stored primarily in skeletal tissues. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons to receive notifications all new contents.